In this section, we're going to be talking about polynomial functions and their graphs. The first thing we're going to try to do is to identify what polynomial functions are. So there are two things we're going to look at in terms of polynomial functions. First thing is we're going to look at the equations. So for the equations, what we have to have is that we have to have positive integers. So what you're not going to see, uh, and actually the red one and the blue one kind of go together. So we're looking at these two together. Okay, and then we're also looking at these two together because in reality they kind of express the same thing. If you look at the first red one, it says it's variables under a radical. If you look at the second red one, we're talking about variables in the denominator. One thing you should see is that these are very similar to our limitations to domain. And that's probably one of the reasons why they're under polynomial functions. So if you have a limited domain, you're not going to be represented by a polynomial function. And the reason the blue ones exist is because variables under a radical, another way you could write a variable under radical is if you use a fractional exponent. Uh, variables in the denominator, again, another way you could write that is if you were to write a variable with a negative exponent. So if you see any of these cases, realize that you don't have a polynomial function because they have to have positive integer exponents. The next thing we're going to look at is polynomial functions in terms of a graph. With a graph, your graphs have to be what they call smooth and continuous. What that means is you cannot have breaks in the graph, nor can you have sharp turns. So make sure that all of your turns are nice and smooth, and there are no breaks, uh, that the graphs are continuous.